Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately 11.20 in Honolulu, 4.20 in New York. It is Monday, 21st day of May, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. We have precious metals mostly higher with silver, the only one being down in the complex. We had gold close to unchanged though, up about 30 cents. 1593.40 is the closing price of the morning session. This is according to Kitco with a low of 1584 and a high of 1600.30. So we have found some resistance at 1600. Silver closed down though, closed down off about 25 cents, 2857. Closing price, morning session, high 28 and low excuse me, low 28 and high 28.93. When we take a look at our dollar, this is in classic candlestick format. You can see that the dollar was a little bit lower today. We're looking at a 432 minute chart. So it did open up higher, but it closed roughly at the midpoint of the session. But still, you can see that we have this topping action in the dollar. Why do we bring that up first? Because that to me right now is what is really one of the driving factors within the marketplace itself. First chart that we'll take a look at is going to be in gold. And as you can see, there's a couple of things that we're looking at. This of course is our daily chart. It is of June gold. We talked about this a little bit on Friday and that is the size really of these candles that we got, the kinds of moves that we got towards last week. The other thing that we did talk about very, very briefly last week is really the MACD, the MACD that we have down here. And as you notice, when they cross, what we look for is for the widening. And as these widen, of course, that gives us an indication that that current average is moving farther and farther away but you can see the opposite action really going on today because when we look at our MACD you can really see that we've gotten this little flip here and of course the MACD is a lagging indicator but what you would get is you would then get the market flipping or you would get your cross and that of course according to the MACD would be signaling a time of higher pricing and trigger a buy signal. You can also see really kind of how flat it was right in this area here as the market traded really in that defined range. Traders, we're looking at a weekly chart. This of course is June gold again. You can see how it's really traded out of that support channel as it broke. We spoke about that. But when we go ahead and convert this back to a candlestick chart, and simply the way that I'm gonna do that is to remove that from a study, we're going to see a couple of things. The first thing that we'll notice is what we talked about a little bit on Friday, and that is this character, this candle character that can be aptly defined either as a doji or a hammer. I'm really calling it a hammer because of location within the marketplace. They're both significant in that after a downtrend, you have a open and close that are very, very close. And that's what gives it the indecisiveness or that pivot point. The difference is though in a hammer is really the size of this tail. And look at this low that it hit. Traders taking this market down until it finds support. Find support, buyers come back into the market and they push it right back to the close. Now, what you would like to see in a perfect world is a confirmation on the following trading session, this being a weekly chart. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But what you would want to see is really a green candle with a higher high and a higher low. So although the market closed quietly and close to unchanged, it was up a couple of dollars. We certainly see our resistance area and that of course is really this $1,600 mark and that's that high that you're seeing right in here. We'll obviously wanna see that taken out and for this market to go higher, we will certainly have to first cross that $1,600 barrier. It's really more a psychological barrier really than any kind of technical barrier. But on the other hand, I am seeing some resistance form in the silver market. And let's go ahead and pull 
over a chart. Henkin Ashi, it is a 420 minute chart and it's quite clear when we look at silver and look at it through this chart, you have this real nice solid green, you have this real nice rally, but look at this, right when it hit that 76% retracement point, 2884, there can be absolutely no doubt that on a technical basis, we found some resistance here. So we're gonna have to see how that pans out, but it certainly hit a brick wall when it hit this on a technical basis and is now under pressure today, as I said, closing off about 25 cents in the morning session. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.